it's you! How nice! It is done. We are resistance fighters. Really? Sure. I even know the secret knock. Wow. Then what are we waiting for? We have to go to Janosch and get our instructions. Last one, there's a rotten egg. Oh, great. Now where's she running off to? But no, no. Hey, hey, stop. Oh, rats. Oh, well, now you tell her to stop? Okay, well, we got to chase her down. Did you ever get those crab cakes? Get us that new recruit? Uh, sure. Finally, a new face after all these years. Janosh is gonna flip out. And a woman, too. Nobody's gonna laugh at us now. Just let me in, okay? Hmm, that could be right. <laughs> finally. But I'm not sure. I can never remember the new knot. Could you not the old one again? Just to be sure. But that's pure harassment. If you're one of us, then you ought to know it. And this had better not be a knock-knock joke. What about it? No, wait. Wrong again. Too bad. Better luck next time. Ah, oh, I can't believe this. And this had better not be a knock-knock joke. Weren't you gonna knock? No, wait. Wrong again. Too bad. What? Better luck next time. Ah, oh, I can't believe this. And this is better not be a knock knock joke. Du, du, da, du, 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 da. No, wait. That isn't the secret knock. <laughs> uh, I know. I just got it a little mixed up. The knock goes. Du, du, da, du, 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 da. Wrong again. Beat it. Crap. Hmm. That could be right, but I'm not sure. Could you knock the old one again, just to be sure? And this had better not be a knock-knock joke. What about it? Don't make me come out there. <laughs> hey, that's enough. I'm coming out now. I don't see the humor in knock-knock jokes. Huh? There's nobody here, so it wasn't a knock-knock joke after all. That isn't the new knock, Liebold. Yeah, I forgot it again. Can I just use the old one? Oh, yes, okay, but only because it's you. Now I've got it. Hey! That was right. Of course it was. Well then, what are you waiting for? Come on in. The door's open. The door is what? <laughs> didn't suggest you turn the music on again. No. I didn't want it on in the first place. Ah! And there's a new recruit. At last. Our course is getting the attention it deserves and a smattering of respect. Say what? What are you getting at? Attention. And? A smattering of respect. <laughs> hmm, just listen to you giggle. <laughs> stop it. No, wait. Don't stop. How can I stop if you never tell me what it is that defines you exceedingly humorous? <laughs> Bravo. Awesome. But <laughs> seriously, what place is this? Some kind of circus? Because, you know, I'm really looking for the hideout of the resistance, not a carnival. You have come to the right please. True. Carnival was last week. Greetings, recruit. What's up? <laughs> You call yourselves a resistance cell? You look like a bunch of total losers to me. That may be your first impression, but the truth is, we're a fanciation bench. Zana!
Peach What's tissue. What's a new friend? Like a glass of orange juice? No thanks, Mum. Feather for you again. Ha, huh. you guys being venturesome? Well, at least we have a concept. So, what's your concept? We're sitting here discussing, snacking on ships, and questioning about the unfairness of being oppressed by the Organon. Organon! <laughs> and what exactly are you hoping to move that way? Move? Who said anything about moving? Well, isn't that sort of implied by the term underground movement? The oh, passive. That, yes. Well, of course we are moving as well. I the wasn't talking resistance. about circling the sun and drifting away from the other tectonic plates. Oh, hmm. I've got a concept. A what? A concept. As in plan. Ah, a concept. For a second, I thought you said concept. But if you mean a concept, I'm very interested. Just insert your slidish into the projector. I've got to go. Your facilities are upstairs by the front door. FIFA Revolution. The stage is set. The show can begin. Hey, what is that all about? I'm taking matters into my own hands now. You want to stop the Organon? I'm all for it. But you're going to need the right leader. Someone who's got courage and charisma. Shek, shek. With clear elocution. Shek. In short, someone who can go up against the Organon all by himself if need be. <gasps> Cowboy Dodo from the local radio station is charismatic enough. I was talking about myself, you dodos. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. What could possibly qualify you for that kind of responsibility? Is he sitting what around in his long johns? I've got a concept. Yes, oh yes, a slideshow. I bet this is going to be so exciting. Watch and learn. Oh, what is that? A spot? Impossible to recognize anything. It's a Rorschach test. A symbol. A shimbo? How mysterious. The concept sounds pretty exciting already. Positively mystic, with just a hint of legend. Shut up, Leibold. And what does it symbolize? It shows what will become of us if we don't act right away. Wow, this is shocking. You're a pretty glib talker. But do you have any proof for your claim? I most certainly do. Here. What's that? An Organon bombing fort. The Dark Exchequer has distributed these towers around the planet. I find that disturbing. I'm scared. We don't quite understand. Why would the Organon build towers like that? What's the purpose of those bases? Our enemy will try to eradicate Deponia. What? But are you really sure? Of course. It's true. The order comes from the Elysian Council of Elders. They have no idea that Deponia is inhabited. Inconceivable. But what are we going to do about it? Our team will dare to attack. Attack the Organon. Are you out of your mind? We don't even know where to strike. Yes, we do. I obtained topographical data locating one particular Organon fort. Wow, he seems to be really well prepared. I thought there were hundreds of blast towers. Why should we tackle this particular one? Our enemy might detonate a bomb here and put an end to all life, marine and on land. That's horrible. Rufus is right. We must prevent it at all costs. But what comes next? What about all the other blast towers? Goal and her brain implant might mean an important trump in our hand. So far, I understand it all. Can you give us a brief summary? I will do that. Uh, no, no, you don't have to do that, Janosch. I, I, I can do it myself. No, no, I will summarize this. Uh-oh. All right, whatever happens, don't laugh, Rufus. Show the first slide again, will you? Exactly. What was that exactly? An Organon bombing fort. Our enemy will try to eradicate Deponia. Our team will dare to attack. So far, so good. And what is this? You obtain topographical data, locating one particular Organon fort. 
Our enemy might detonate a bomb here and put an end to all life, marine and on land. Almost done. Gold and her brain implant might mean an important trump in our hand. You've understood everything. Bravo. That's all very well, but how does it help us? An Elysian inspector named Cletus is currently here on Deponia. Goal accompanied him. That's why she's here in the first place. Her codes serve to activate the last high boat in Porta Fisco that is supposed to take her back to Elysium. We have to let Elysium know that Deponia is actually inhabited. Therefore, I will take Goal to Elysium. But of course, you could try to sway the Council of Elders. Once they learn that Deponia is inhabited, they'll cancel the blast. But why should you of all people go to Elysium? Because I'm the spitting image of the inspector. <laughs> That's highly unlikely. But it's true. Rufus and Cletus could be twins. What a strange coincidence. And it gets even better. Argus's cruiser has docked at the blast tower I indicated. Its mission is to take Cletus and Goal to the high boat in Porta Fisco. During the attack, Goal and I can make use of the ensuing chaos to overwhelm Cletus. And then I will take his place. What do you say? Are you with me? That sounds very risky. But it's our only chance. Any more questions? <laughs> Our spearhead! Oy! Yay! That was so cool! You made Janos look like a little idiot! <laughs> well, how else would he look compared to somebody my size? Now all I have to do is persuade your last alter ego. To tell you the truth, I liked you right from the start. You were a lot like Cletus, but you lack his moody, spiteful side. That's true. Just thinking of that idiot really gets my dander up. And you're so clueless and bumbling, which makes you very attractive to women. Thanks. <laughs> I think. I what? had better stay here until you manage to persuade the Not other Not sure two. about that. I must admit that I'm actually a little jealous. Totally weird, isn't it? Time for some spunk. Huh? What the... Everything okay? Yeah, it's fine. I'll have the same again. Hmm? You again. What do you want? You have to come with me and see Doc. I must? I don't think so. But your health is at stake. Don't worry. I'm feeling just great. But if you don't come... Then what? Will I get bruises? Will my shoulder be dislocated? Will I get a nosebleed? No, not that. But... But you will if you keep bothering me like that. Yeah, well, bother, bother, bother. Uh, Rufus. What? what? A little friendly advice. Never provoke a woman with a temper. Believe me, I once knew a woman who... You, you stay, stay out, out of this! Of this. Uh, you two do what you want, then. Where were we? I think I was about to bring you with this bar stool. Ah, yes, great. Then let's proceed. Hey! No fighting in my bar, you hear? Yeah. Me. Yeah. So, this is where you've been hanging out. So what? Do I have to ask your leave every time I want to go somewhere? Um, yes, that would be helpful. Dream on, wimp. I don't even know myself how I got here. But since I'm here now, anyway, I might as well explore my surroundings. And by surroundings, I mean this drink. Hey, you can't do that. Calm down. It's all on Rufus today. But that was my lighter fluid! <laughs> yeah, that's how it tasted. Hit me with another. You must come with me. Something went wrong with the surgery. So what? That goes for your birth as well. Do you hear me complaining? Will you listen now? Your implant was damaged when... Meh, you're boring me. Please, go. <laughs> you must come <laughs> with me. Make me if you can. I'd love to see how you propose to do that. With no arms and all. I do have arms. Oh. Those are arms? I thought you would drop some spaghetti on your shirt. Take a good look at them, because you won't see much of them when I spank your behind. Uh, Rufus, I don't think that's a very bright idea. Huh. 
If only I had a Zloty for every time I've heard that sentence. Then maybe I could finally afford the kneecap replacement that people keep telling me I need. I just mean, uh, you gotta be careful with temperamental ladies. Or the steel plate to cover my skull fracture. Are you even listening to me? Or the tympanic membrane transplant. I give up. Hey, baby. Are you trying to hit on me? <laughs> Save your breath, wimp. Hey, you got me all wrong. I can wrap you around my pinky in my sleep. You'd better beware, or I'll wrap something around your throat in your sleep. See? <laughs> I haven't even started, and you're already fantasizing about you and me in bed together. Ugh. You're actually pretty cool. We're a fine match. Ha! <laughs> Dream on, wimp. Your mouth is saying no, but your eyes are saying yes. Would you like to hear what my fist is saying? Uh, no. M m maybe not right now. Did it hurt when you fell from heaven? Yes, damn it. Mm, yeah, right. Probably did, huh? Here's looking at you, kid. Who are you calling a kid, you pipsqueak? Oh, yeah? <laughs> Who are you calling a pipsqueak, you beanpole? Oh, yeah? Who are you calling a beanpole, you rat? Yeah? Oh, yeah? Well, who are you calling a rat? You, you... Hey! No fighting in my bar, you hear? What's a nice girl like you doing in a place like this? Right now, I'm trying not to fall asleep on account of your boring lines. Let me know when I should take you to bed. <laughs> Yet another dud. Try your macho bullshit on someone else. Oh, <laughs> would that make you jealous? Get lost now. I'll find a way to make you go all week. As weak as your head or as weak as your arms? As weak as both together, baby. Ugh. Won't you please just come along? No, nope. but no. Nope. Oh, stubbornness, thy name is woman. See, I told you it wouldn't work this way. If you want my advice... Nope. But... Nope. Whatever. We have to keep the Organon from blowing up Deponia. No worries. I'm going to take care of the Organon myself. Really? And just how are you planning to do that? I'll just whoop their butts if they dare to cross me. Damn! Why didn't I think of that? Aren't you even wondering how you got here? Not really. You're in the vicinity. That should suffice as an explanation. Well, <laughs> I'm always good for a surprise. <laughs> you are basically the human equivalent of spontaneous self-combustion. Wow, thanks. Damn, that came across much too nicely. What do I have to do to make you come along? Uh, you could sing the dumb bum song for me. <laughs> That's a piece of cake. Here comes the dumb bum, the dumb bum, the dumb bum, the dumb bum, the dopey dim, dopey dim, dopey dim, dopey dim, dumb bum. Oh, yeah. Hey, wait a minute. <laughs> oh, man, you're cracking me up. I told you that wouldn't work. But since you refuse to listen to me... Hmm. If I listen to you, will you sing me the Dum Bum song? I don't know. How'd the lyrics go again? It's quite simple. Here comes the Dum Bum, the Dum Bum, the Dum Bum, the Dum Bum, the Dopey Dim, Dopey Dim, Dopey Dim, Dopey Dim, Dum Bum. Oh, yeah. Dang! <laughs> Wait here. I'll be right back. No threats, please. Hello, bozo, old pirate. We've been through this, Rufus. I am not the pirate. I'm only a junk dealer with my own trawler. Yeah, right. And the parrot on your shoulder is only perching there by chance. I don't have a parrot, Rufus. I've never had one. Is that so? Then who did I feed those earthworms to whenever you were asleep? You're a rare bird yourself. <laughs> An eagle. Say, Rufus. Was there anything in particular you wanted to talk to me about? Certainly. Then what are you waiting for? The multiple choice box. Wait a minute. <laughs> Worms? Shh. Here it comes now. What were you going to say earlier? Something about a very special boarding maneuver? I don't know what you're getting at. Again. Come on. You can't fool me. You pirates are all the same. A girl in every port and constantly on the lookout for new ports. Right? Not in the least. Although... Ah! I knew it! <laughs> <laughs>